Hello everybody and welcome back to another round of Shutter Saturday and today I'm going to be talking about another Shutter original that recently dropped on the Shutter channel. The film I'm going to be talking about today is called A Wounded Fawn. Now with a title like that I was already starting to get annoyed because I was expecting nothing other than a pretentious hipster horror movie. The film definitely starts off by making you believe that it's going to be nothing but a pretentious hipster horror movie because we are dealing with a serial killer in the art community. We have a serial killer that's killing off women that are prestige art collectors. And we are led to believe that he's hearing voices in his head that are telling him to kill off these women. And his newest victim is one he's going to be spending the weekend with because they're having a weekend date getaway. The movie does start off kind of rocky for me and I kind of was wondering did the writers forget what they wrote. The reason why I say this because the movie kind of gives off the impression that our newest possible victim has been talking to this guy for a short period of time and they have kind of gone out before. I have plans this weekend. The mystery. Yeah, mystery man. What's right? What mystery man? Yet when we see the two of these characters together that are taking a weekend getaway trip, they're having conversations that you probably normally would have had on your very first date. But after the first 30 minutes, the movie kind of finds its footing, and then the movie kind of feels like a psychological horror or possibly something even supernatural. The movie does a whole cat and mouse routine, and our serial killer is looking for the final girl. I was starting to get worried that this movie is going to be doing the big horror filmmaking trend that's taking place right now. All right, weird for the sake of weird. Oh. oh! Which is, show a bunch of weird stuff, don't worry, you won't have to explain it, because at the end of the movie, you're going to say, it's just a metaphor. Hopefully the movie stops itself before it can smell its own butt. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, after that 30 minute mark, this movie gets pretty weird and the visuals are pretty cool and sort of the costumes, so I would say go check it out.